So I said, if that's the standard, we are all sinners. He said, do you believe God loves you? I thought for a second, I said, well, if God created me, then there must be some love. Because as a student, if I do a project, kind of get connected with that project. And maybe we are God's projects anyway. So um, it, it's understandable that maybe God loves us, has some affection. Well, do you believe you cannot reach God? He said, of course, I'm, I'm not complete. No, no human being can say, I am like God. I've sinned. I'm, not, I'm an incomplete person in my mind, in my heart. Uh, I've been angry. As the Bible says, I'm a killer. How can I be, um, how can I reach God, a killer? He said, well, do you believe God loved you so much uh, that He came after you? Again, to me, I said, it, it makes sense. You know, if I love somebody and they cannot do something for themselves, and I say, I love you, I step forward and do something for them. And if God says He's love, He loves me, and I cannot do anything for myself to reach to Him, reach out to Him, so it's, it's logical. I was going just with logic. It's logical that He would step forward. Otherwise, He's not love. He just sit back there and me suffer. Uh, so it makes sense that He would uh, do that. Then the pastor said, well, that's what he did. And uh, that, that's enough. You know, these few things you believe, that's enough. The moment he said, that's enough, that's when I got saved. The moment he said, that's enough, the Holy Spirit fell on me. Suddenly, just things became so clear of uh, the meaning of God's love, the practical meaning, what he did for me, how he came after me how He suffered on the cross, how He took my sins away so I can encounter Him. And suddenly God wasn't out there anymore. God was in me. God was so personal, suddenly came. As the Bible says, if you believe in Him, you, are, you, will, you shall be born again. I, I was born in spirit. And the Holy Spirit came right at that moment. I felt so much peace and joy. I knew that I have found something I have been looking for all my life. My heart was full of God's peace, joy, and love. And I said, this is it. God is in me. That, that's what I've been looking for. I wanted God, and now God is in me, uh, living in me. This thing has changed my life. Why should I keep it to myself? I have to, even though I was a shy person, I said, I have to share this with my family and friends. And I started sharing it uh, with anybody I knew. Of course, they first rejected me, but gradually, one by one, they came to Christ also. To a good Muslim, I would say, I really respect you. I know you're sincerely looking for God. You want to experience God. But I want to tell you something. I want to tell you that God is searching for you. He loves you. And another thing, religion does not satisfy you. And God doesn't want to give you a religion. He didn't come to give you a religion. Religion is a burden in our lives. God came to take away our burdens. He wants a simple relationship uh, with us. But what, what can we do to get to Him? God says, you cannot get to me. You can never be perfect. You're always going to be sinful. So what hope do we have? And God says, I love you so much. I see you struggling. I see you trying to be good. And I love you so much that I came for you. I came to take over your sins. I came to uh, pay the punishment of sins. So what do I need to do? God wants you to just trust in Him and accept His love, His tangible love. You know what tangible love is? God's tangible love is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God's love in human flesh, just reaching out to us, dying on the cross, and raising up to be our Savior. When you receive Jesus, you receive God's love and salvation, and your life will be changed. Put away your prejudice. I know they have told us that Jesus is just a prophet. Jesus is just a prophet. When you study the Bible, um, all the 66 of books of the Bible and the 40 prophets, when you read that, when you study that, you realize Jesus is not a prophet. He is God in flesh. He is the Savior of the world. And when you experience Him, when you invite Him, when you pray, say, Jesus, come into my life and my heart. Instantly. This is not when you go to heaven. Instantly your life will be changed. The Spirit of God will come into your heart and you will be full of love, joy and peace of God.